The Hyderabad Metro Rail Phase 2 represents a pivotal expansion of one of India's most dynamic urban transit systems, building on the success of Phase 1, which spans 69.2 kilometers across three elevated corridors and serves over 500,000 daily passengers as of October 2025. Initiated to combat escalating traffic congestion, air pollution, and the rapid urbanization of Greater Hyderabad, a city now home to more than 10 million residents, Phase 2 aims to extend the network by an additional 76.4 kilometers through five interconnected corridors, incorporating 54 new stations and transforming the city's mobility landscape. Approved by the Telangana State Cabinet in January 2024 under Chief Minister Agravanth Reddy's administration, the project carries an estimated cost of 24,269 rupees crore, funded through a joint venture, JV, model between the state and central governments on a 50 to 50 equity basis, supplemented by 48% loans and a 4% public private partnership, PPP, component. This financial structure reflects lessons from Phase I's 22,000 rupees crore PPP led build, where private involvement via Larson and Two Bro Metro Rail Hyderabad LNTMRH, faced revenue sharing hurdles, prompting the state to prioritize government led execution for greater control and efficiency. At the heart of Phase II is Corridor 4, the Nagoli Rajiv Gandhi International Airport RGIA, line, stretching 36.8 kilometers and serving as the flagship extension of the existing Blue Line from Nagol in the east to Shamshabad Airport in the southwest. This corridor, predominantly elevated with a brief 1.6-kilometer underground section near the airport terminal, will feature 30 stations, including key interchanges at LB Nagar and Raiderg, facilitating seamless transfers to Phase 1 lines. Stations along this route, such as Nagal, Kothapet, LB Nagar, Hayathnagar, via a 7.1-kilometer sub-extension adding six stations like Lecturer's Colony, RTC Colony, and Autonagar, Santosh Nagar, Barkadpura, and Musarambag, will connect densely populated residential suburbs with the bustling airport, which handles over 25 million passengers annually. Travel time from central Hyderabad to RGIA is projected to drop from over an hour by road to just 20 to 25 minutes operating at an average speed of 35 km per hour, with provisions for higher velocities on airport stretches. Construction on this corridor kicked off in early 2025, with geotechnical surveys and utility relocations completed by mid-year. As of October 2025, piling works have advanced 40% in the Nagoli LB Nagar segment, bolstered by 500 rupees crore allocated in the state budget for land acquisition and road widening. This line not only alleviates airport-bound traffic on the outer ring road but also integrates with emerging hubs like the Financial District and Gachaboli IT Corridor, where over 2 million professionals commute daily. Complementing this is Corridor V, the Raider Kakapet Neopolis Extension, a compact 11.6-kilometer elevated spur off the Blue Line's Raider Terminus, weaving through Hyderabad's booming western periphery. Spanning just eight stations Raiderg, Biodiversity Junction, Nanakramguda, Wipro Circle, Kajaguda Road Junction, Financial District, and Kakapet Neopolis, this corridor targets the Neopolis Master Plan Township, a 500-acre greenfield development envisioned as a sustainable urban node with residential towers, offices, and recreational spaces. Costing around 3,000 rupees crore, it addresses the isolation of Kakapet, where rapid high-rise growth has outpaced road infrastructure, leading to chronic gridlocks. By linking directly to the existing Raiderg station, it enhances last-mile connectivity via feeder buses and cycle tracks, projecting 1.5 lakh daily riders by 2028. As of October 2025, detailed project reports DPRs, for this corridor have been vetted by the Hyderabad Airport Metro Limited HML, the Special Purpose Vehicle Overseeing Phase 2, with foundation-laying ceremonies slated for Q4 2025. Environmental clearances were expedited in March 2025, incorporating green viaducts and rainwater harvesting to align with the city's net zero ambitions under the Bharat Future City Initiative. The Old City Corridor, officially Corridor 2 from Mahatma Gandhi Bus Station, MGBS, to Chandrayangada, revives a long delayed 7.5 km segment originally earmarked for Phase 1 but stalled by heritage concerns and land disputes. This elevated line, budgeted at 2,000 rupees crore, will traverse the historic Muslim quarter with six stations, Salarjung Museum, Charminar, Shalabanda, Shamshirgunj, Aliabad, and Falak Numa, bridging the cultural heart of Hyderabad famed for its mosques, bazaars, and Golconda-adjacent palaces with modern transit. Demolitions commenced in late December 2024, acquiring 311 properties and dispersing 283 rupees crore in compensation, 
while 125 rupees crore was released in June 2025 for parallel road expansions to minimize disruptions. By October 2025, Viaduct Direction has progressed to 25% completion, with night shifts mitigating traffic impacts on the congested MGBS phallic pneuma artery. This corridor holds profound socioeconomic significance, serving 2 to 3 lakh residents in underserved areas, reducing reliance on overcrowded autos and buses, and boosting tourism to landmarks like the 400 year old Charminar, where footfall exceeds 50,000 visitors daily. Integration with Phase 1 at MGBS will create a mega interchange, handling projected interline transfers of 50,000 passengers per day. Further north, the Miyapur Patanchero Extension, Corridor I, adds 13.4 kilometers to the red line, extending from Miyapur through industrial and suburban belts to the burgeoning Patanchero satellite town. This 4,500 rupees crore corridor includes 10 stations, Miyapur, Interchange, Elwyn X Road, Madanaguda, Chandanagar, Jodi Nagar, BHL, RC Piram, Biramguda, and Patanchero, catering to the Hyderabad Metropolitan Development Authorities, HMDA, Industrial Parks, home to giants like Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, BHL, and pharma clusters employing over 1 lakh workers. A double-decker flyover come metro alignment for 1.6 kilometers between Miyapur and Matanaguda, in collaboration with the National Highways Authority of India, NHAI, exemplifies innovative space utilization amid narrow rights-of-way. Route maps unveiled in January 2025 highlighted this as a priority, with construction tenders floated in April, by October 2025, 30% of the alignment is cleared, and elevated pier foundations are underway, targeting partial commissioning by 2027 to sync with Patanchara's residential boom. Rounding out the core phase 2 is the LB Nagar Hayathnagar Spur, Corridor 3, a 7.1-kilometer appendage to the airport corridor, enhancing east-southeast connectivity with six stations, LB Nagar, Interchange, Vanasthalipuram, Chintalkanta, Lecturer's Colony, RTC Colony, Autonagar, and Hayathnagar. At 1,800 rupees crore, this line penetrates middle-class enclaves along the old city fringes, where informal transport dominates. Approved in February 2025, it leverages existing Phase 1 viaducts for cost efficiencies, with 20% progress reported in October 2025, including station box excavations. Collectively, these five corridors, totaling 76.4 kilometers, will elevate the metro's footprint to 145.6 kilometers, with 113 stations, positioning Hyderabad among India's top five metro networks by 2030. Beyond these, Phase 2B, approved by the State Cabinet on June 5, 2025, introduces three ambitious greenfield corridors spanning 86.1 kilometers at 19,579 rupees crore, executed via HML as a 50,50 Central State JV. DPRs, finalized and board approved on May 8, 2025, were submitted to the Union Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs in June, following Chief Minister Reddy's advocacy meetings with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Minister Manohar Lal Qatar. This phase targets northern and southern peripheries, the JBS Medchil Corridor, 24.5 km elevated, 18 stations, from Jubilee Bus Station, JBS, via Paradise to Medchil's residential boomtowns, the JBS Shamerpet Line, 22 km, 15 stations, linking to IT corridors and the proposed AI City, and the RGA Future City Extension, 39.6 km mixed mode, 21 km elevated, 1.5 km underground, 17 km at grade, 9 stations, connecting Shamshabad Airport to the 30.000. Acre net zero bar at future city between Sri Shalam and Nagar Junasagar highways, including the Young India Skill University. These additions, blending elevated, underground, and at grade sections, aim to decongest radial roads and foster equitable growth, with DPRs emphasizing ridership forecasts of 8 lakh daily passengers by completion. As of October 2025, technical vetting is 70% complete at the center, with 500 rupees crore budgeted for initial surveys. Full approval is anticipated by early 2026, aligning with the Comprehensive Mobility Plan (CMP) traffic study by HMDA. Technically, Phase 2 adheres to global standards, with 90% elevated structures using precast segmental girders for rapid assembly, driverless train operations on CBTC signaling, and integration with Phase I's fleet, 171 cars from Hyundai Rotom, expandable to 300. Stations will incorporate universal accessibility, escalators, lifts, tactile paths, and women-only coaches, while depots at Nagol and Miyapur undergo upgrades for maintenance.
Sustainability features abound, solar panels on roofs generating 20% power needs, rainwater harvesting, and zero-discharge sewage systems, reducing the carbon footprint by an estimated 1.5 lakh tons annually. Fair structures mirror phase 1 to 10 to 60 rupees slabs, with smart cards offering 10% discounts and monthly passes from 1,000 rupees, ensuring affordability for the average commuter earning 15,000 rupees monthly. Construction timelines are staggered for phased openings, the old city and LB Nagar Hathnagar segments by late 2026, Miyapur Patancheru and Raider Kakapet by 2027, Nagoli RGIA by 2028, and Phase 2B corridors by 2030, with full network operationalization by 2032. As of October 21, 2025, overall progress stands at 35%, accelerated by night shifts and 1,200 rupees crore in Q3 disbursements. Key milestones include 500 plus property acquisitions, utility shifts for 200 kilometers of cables, and environmental nods from the State Pollution Control Board. Tenders for civil works on corridors 1 and 2 were awarded to LNT affiliates in July 2025, despite the firm's phase 1 exit, signaling renewed private interest. Challenges persist land acquisition delays in dense old city pockets, where 20% of holdings involve WAC properties have been mitigated through community consultations and enhanced compensation packages. Funding bottlenecks, with central vetting lingering since DPR submissions in November 2024, were eased by state guarantees for 30% equity, 7,313 rupees crore. Integration with LNTMRH's Phase 1 operations addressing signaling interoperability and revenue shares remains a focal point, with negotiations yielding a buyout clause in September 2025. Monsoon-induced slowdowns in 2025 affected piling by 10%, but contingency plans like modular fabrication have kept schedules intact. Economically, Phase 2 is a catalyst, projected to generate 2 lakh direct jobs in construction and operations, spur 50,000 rupees crore in ancillary real estate along corridors, e.g., 30% appreciation in cockpit values post-approval, and cut logistics costs by 15% via airport links. Environmentally, it promises a 30% modal shift from private vehicles, slashing emissions equivalent to 50,000 cars off-roads daily. Socially, it empowers marginalized communities in Hayathnagar and Phalak Numa with affordable access to jobs in Gachaboli and Genome Valley, narrowing the urban divide. As Hyderabad I's Tier 1 status, Phase 2, interwoven with the regional ring road and Musi riverfront, embodies a vision of inclusive, resilient transit, ensuring the city of pearls glides toward a sustainable tomorrow. Word count, 1,248.